Hi, my dear students. Welcome back to my channel. Civil Tips and Tricks for Civil Engineers. Okay. I am going to be a energy student in the class. I am going to be a middle class. I am going to be a middle class. I am going to be a class in civil. Because I am going to be a class in June. I am going to be a class in June. So, we will discuss that. Pada itu saya ini adalah mumpet dengan. Yang anda itu dah lihat video sendiri kalau notification ada kita orang ini, anda kalau subscribe je, okay subscribe je, betul tu ada bell button lah all kodak press je, yang anda itu dah lihat video sendiri notification ada kita orang. Pinnya, anda kisah betul like je, ga, pinnya comment social lah kodak, anda kalau ada komen dia ada, okay. Nale, anda itu, saya ini kalau arah yang betul tu orang ini kalau lihat video, kisah betul, okay. Thank you. Kalau kita ni ada video lah tu. Today I am going to discuss about floating drum digester, balloon type digester. Okay. Last class I had already discussed about fixed drum digester. Okay. Today I am going to discuss about floating drum digester. As with fixed drum, drum digesters, the construction consists of an underground masonry digester, often cylindrical in shape. The gas storage area consists of an un, un, up turned enclosed steel structure drum which floats in the water jacket in which it surrounded opening the digester or on the slurry itself. Biogas is tapped off from the top of steel drum and used for cooking and lighting etc. Okay. As the gas produced and the gas pressure increases the steel drum floats higher in the water jacket. When the gas is used and gas pressure drops, the weight of the drum forces to it lower. A floating drum digester is also known as Indian design and widely used for small scale household, uh, household size, uh, size systems. Okay. The main advantages of a floating drum digester include uh, constant gas pressure. We can see how much the gas had collected clearly by the height of the drum. Disadvantages of floating drum digesters include corrosion problems with steel, expense of steel drum, uh, complex construction due to moving parts, water jacket must kept top to provide the gas seal. Okay. By the picture itself, we can understand how the floating drum digester work, okay, works. Okay. Then we will put the waste through the inlet. Okay. And it flows through the inlet pipe. Then it flow, falls to the digester. Okay. By seeing this picture itself, uh, we will think that it will be like fixed drum digester. But it is wrong because it consists of a partition wall in the digester itself okay when the uh, when we put the waste through the inlet valve okay in, not inlet by inlet pipe that waste will increase okay we will put waste again and again the uh, waste uh, already put will be increasing upwards okay after reaching a, a level of the partition wall this waste will flows through the other tank okay then it fills the other tank okay by the, this process that gas will increase also means gas will be produced this will be collected at the drum okay uh, because of that the drum starts floating because of the gas pressure okay when we use the gas for cooking purposes it um that drum will fall down it here and explained above okay when the slurry increases in the second tank that slurry we will collect through the outlet pipe and used for fertilizer and we we can throw it off through the sewage also okay this is a small diff which is explaining about the floating drum digester explanation okay First, uh, the inlet uh, valve through the inlet valve, it uh, that waste will go downwards. Okay. 
see this it will go downwards and it fills the partition tank when it uh, overflows it will flows through to the other tank okay so the uh, sludge will be already fully digested okay this digested um, um, digested slurry will move through the outlet pipe okay this is the flow um, pattern okay so uh, the gas will be collected at the uh, drum hmm? hope you can understand by seeing this too. okay next is balloon type digester okay uh, by this i am going to uh, wind up the class because uh, uh, balloon type digester only one slide i had because 10 slide uh, means more than 10 slides the uh, video will extend up to 20 minutes okay for that i am reducing my video that uh, that's only my problem okay balloon type digester generator uses flexible uh, plastic bladder as the combined digester and a gas holder in a similar way to the previous two designs inlet and outlet are suited at the opposite en end of the balloon which allows for the slurry to be digested and produce the gas as, as it moves along inside the structure. Rocks and weights can be added to the top of the balloon to increase the gas pressure. The gas is trapped off from the top of the balloon. Okay. Next class, I am going to discuss about balloon type digester continuation and design. Okay. Thank you and all the best for your exams. Hope you can understand my the presentation okay